Okay, today I'm going to be seeing if you could hear me scream in a vacuum. So today you're going to be inside the vacuum and I'm going to be screaming in air and we're going to see if you can still hear me. Okay, first let's start off and see if you can hear me just in normal air pressure with the lid on. Okay, let's see if you can hear me in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. We're at 0.5 atmosphere, so half an atmosphere already. Going down. Houston, can you hear me? We have a problem. Okay, we are at maximum vacuum now. So let's see if we can hear me. Okay, I'm gonna scream as loud as I can. Okay, I just scared the crap out of my wife. So now she knows what I'm doing. Can you hear me? Help, I'm lost in space! Can you hear me? Okay, let's go ahead and let the air back in. Three, two, one. So my GoPro is really warm. That's because there's no air to dissipate the heat due to the heat generation of the battery in there. It's actually pretty hot, really hot. So what this means, if you were the point of view of the GoPro, meaning you were floating out in space and a spacecraft went by making lots of noise, you wouldn't be able to hear anything. But what you would be able to hear is a puff of gas. So it wouldn't be an actual sound wave with a repeating pattern but you would hear the burst of gas hit you. So if a spacecraft flew by you in space, you would hear something because the gas that, ex that is expelled from the back of the rocket would hit you. And so you'd hear uh, a puff of air, basically. You'd hear a pressure wave hit your ear very quickly. And it would travel much faster than the speed of sound because it would be essentially a shock wave traveling through space. And so you actually would hear an explosion or a spacecraft go by. So the only noises you would actually hear in space would be from any gases exploding. Those you could hear, but any other noises that rely on the transmission of physical waves through air, you wouldn't be able to hear at all. Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for watching another one of my videos. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed yet, remember to subscribe and you can leave me any comments in the comment section with any questions you have or leave me any suggestions, anything you want to see me put in my vacuum chamber, hydraulic press, my pressure chamber. And as always, we'll see you next time.